I'll open up the broadcast page too on Twitch so I can see comments. Well, if you just go okay. to like twitch.tv slash Millie and change slash chat, you'll see the chat on its own without having to open up. Uh... Oh, good to know. I didn't know about that. All right, there's in both the chat and Twitter, so we should be ready to roll now. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right then. Uh, hello. Um, I had a intro for it for this, but I forgot. I apologize. <laughs> Do not worry. The, the <laughs> same thing happens to me all the time. <laughs> Alrighty. Hello, everybody. This is Emmy. I'm uh, hosting this for the first time. I'm well. I was kind of hosting the the champion road stuff i guess oh yeah but um this is uh an idea that sasha had she's uh she's dubbed it raw is emmy though that's kind of a terminology we've had forever <laughs> um so i'm gonna be playing fire promoter uh with a few with uh, 18 characters, six of mine, six of my picks, six of Sasha's picks, and six of Melly's picks. Um, I'm also obviously joined by Melly and Sasha. Hello. Hello. Alrighty. Uh, so, and Melly, is the, the video feed coming through okay? Yeah, I have it open. Okay. Keep my eye on it. <laughs> All the right. world is ours for the taking. <laughs> All these nobodies like Kataro Suzuki. <laughs> yeah, right. And Jimmy Wang Yang. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Poor guy. We all just kind of picked boy stables, basically. Yeah. Um, the funny thing is, uh, with all this talk about, uh, Shibuya Scramble, I must point out that, uh, the company that, uh, Nasubi, uh, works for, uh, is in this game. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, Burning Hammer, the, uh, scam diet drink, uh, that is a <laughs> company that you can get sponsored by in this mode. And it's Sick. the same logo and everything, so it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Like Spike oh, sorry. No, I just I just was reading what it said on the screen. Uh, it's it, Spike Chunsoft has this weird like multiverse going on that nobody really <laughs> knows about. I'll say demo. Which I, I guess City One's just gonna make it more confusing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, going by the Suda stuff, it transcends the company somehow. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Let's see who we're working with right now. Uh, manage tables? No. Records. Here we go. So, we've got three stables. Uh, oh. Dot demo says, God damn it, Twitch. Oh, what's, some... what's, uh... Because I have, a. Uh... I'm looking at it now. It's not messing up or anything. Might uh... just be something on their end. Yeah, hey, maybe. But hello, anyway. <laughs> so okay. we've got uh, three stables. The stable... Oh, okay. The stable of uh, my choosing is the counterattack, named by Sasha and I. Uh, it, it includes uh, Shark Boy, Taka Michinoku. Kaintai era Taka that. Yes. Kaintai era Funaki. Uh, Kotaro Suzuki, who I guess is technically the leader. Uh, the Hurricane. And Jimmy Wang Yang. As previously <laughs> mentioned. <laughs> All some of my favorite, uh, mediocre wrestlers. <laughs> that is fair. <laughs> <laughs> Takamichi Noku is a good wrestler. So is Kotaro Suzuki. 
Uh, Melquadra. <laughs> Melly's yeah. group. Composed of Luna Vachon, Command Bolshoi, Waylon Mercy, you know what I mean, Bol Nakano, <laughs> Fuka Kakimoto, and Mortis. I like how his nickname is Glacier's Enemy. I mean, it's kind of what that's kind of what he was created to be, basically. <laughs> yeah, but Mortis Glacier's is not here. Yeah, he is. He's oh. over in like WCW, I think. Oh. <laughs> uh. Sasha's got the the pirate paparazzi. Is that what it is, <laughs> Sash? Yes. Uh, composed of Saya Ida, Alex Shelley, Chris Sabin. What is this Alex Shelley face? I don't know. Because, like, there's an Alex Shelley head in this game. <laughs> Sliced like... bread number two? Yes. Of uh, the best thing since sliced bread, but he like. <laughs> but like, I this see. looks like it's like the Seth Rollins head. Oh, that's that's gonna bug me. Uh, Kevin Nash. TNA like... era Kevin Nash at that. <laughs> La Hiedra and Pirata Morgan. <laughs> oh, that so... guy. So what's what's the what's the backstory for your stable, Sash? Did like paparazzi productions get bought out by Parada Morgan or something? Or maybe they just hired him on <laughs> as a consultant. <laughs> I don't know why Saeed is here. She just kind of popped in. <laughs> well, regarding the uh, wrong heads being used, I looked into more of the fighting road characters. It turns out the uh, Brock Lesnar like is using Kane's face. <laughs> also, I, don't know, I don't know why my voice cracked but I said Kane. that but... <laughs> uh, let's see we got our you got usual titles I love um, starting fire promoter with like WWE stuff because it'll always start with like Becky Lynch uh, Kane and Drew McIntyre have won the WWE six-man title or something like that. <laughs> Are they just really good or something? <laughs> uh, let's see. So, do my usual and send out the scouts. Uh, Mr. No preference. Question. No preference. Now, my favorite way to do this is just do no preference, no preference, 12 months for everybody. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Because that kind of means they'll find somebody eventually. <laughs> well, we've been trying for an entire year, and uh, it, it, <laughs> you gotta find somebody. Sometimes the they thing. the game glitches out and they get lost. Oh. And it'll say, like, <laughs> length, negative one month. Mr. Question. <laughs> it always happens to Shin Bitch. <laughs> Shin Bitch. Alright, who's around? Oh, I gotta upgrade my gym. Oh, wait. Get the, uh, actually... I actually can't hire anyone right now for a while because technically we're at a higher capacity than our gym allows. Which is annoying. Oh, we could just upgrade the gym a couple times. That's true. I just imagine, like, Fuka and Waylon are just, like, outside because they can't fit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe that's enough for now. Let's see. <laughs> and, uh, okay, regarding yeah. why Fuka is here, um, my reasoning is that she actually is, plays a character in Shibuya Scramble uh, named Miku. Uh, and... <laughs> Uh, the weird thing is that they say, like, oh, the character is high school age. It's like, she was, like, 26 when that game was being made. I don't really get it, but... <laughs> uh, let's see. Who's around in the free agents? We got Natalia. We got Michael McGillicuddy. No, that's, yeah, Kurt, that's Hawkins, Kurt Hawkins. Not, Kurt, not Curtis Axel. <laughs> he can be Here's Michael McGillicuddy. It's fine. <laughs> We could probably just like speed through this because if we read everybody off, we're gonna be here all night. Yeah, that's true. 
David Arquette. Oh, there's Glacier, actually. Oh, nice. But the problem is you can only make one contract offer a month, which sucks. Huh. And so if you if if you if you mess it up, you're down a month basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Default move set, but you know what? That's fine. It feels like <laughs> he wouldn't know how to make a move set. <laughs> Another Chris Saban. Oops. <laughs> Chris is Saban. You might you might see that a lot actually. Yeah. Blue Mario. Can't delete him now. Oh. Ge oh Shadow Geese wrong. Howard. <laughs> yeah, just just hire him. <laughs> yeah. like... Zero. I'll say or but T TV's Frank. <laughs> That's a really good zero, jeez. Uh, red <laughs> and green. Really... Valentine. A the dude from Dragon's Park. Lair. Method Man. <laughs> Wait, Turok? <laughs> I don't think they, <laughs> that might even be based ad? on, like, how he showed up in, uh, Warzone, too. Uh, go by the moves, I'm unsure, but... Because it was just The Rock, because Turok, you know... And there's and... Tozawa... Jolly... Uh, Tiger Mask Double with the, I think the Kota Ibushi move set. Is that how you say it? Uh, it's double or W. I think I think it's mostly double. <laughs> yeah, just hire Genkai from Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> it's a gym mobile suit. <laughs> Domon Kuga, nice. It's a cool guy. Gaim. Go on wings. Or go on silver, rather. Santa Goldberg. <laughs> oh, is that good? Uh, okay, Jackhammer, yeah. Dino Mate. Wow, holy shit. That. Jeez. <laughs> I forgot about some of these some of these characters we've got. Kiki. <laughs> Cherry Blossom Iki's here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please tell me uh, Santa Bird likes people's hair on I fire. I don't know for sure. Got some idol master characters. Melina. Melina underscore. Uh, Somebody's got to made. A, somebody's got to have made a Briamu by now. <laughs> Ultraman. Right, He's so... hanging out in Latin America. <laughs> and so is Peter, the character I made. Where? Uh, above uh, Garo. Yeah. Or below Bo Dario. Bo Bo oh, Pito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go on you yeah. in Latin America for some reason. <laughs> well, look, the, the ants go where they please. <laughs> Who was it we turned into an ant in um, TEW? <laughs> uh, Shit, I can't remember. Vulcan... Mirko Krokop. I think it was somebody famous, and that's like why I did it. It's just to give them like a really dumb gimmick. Death Yamasan. Broom. A broom. A broom. Go to speak. <laughs> Gain it. Gain it in the broom. Lao Chan. Goldar. Ah, famed European country, Africa. <laughs> that is a that's an interesting looking Doctor Frank. Because uh, he's Anna supposed Williams? to be like Frank. Yeah, he's supposed to be like uh, Frankenstein's monster, but now he's like a skull. <laughs> Who was it that I wanted to hire? Um, I know it was somebody in North America. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it's Glacier. Right. Yeah. It was also the Yeti. Uh, they're concerned. Oh. Oh, he's not King's Road. 
Damn. All right, we gotta find some Kings Road people. That's right. Yeah. Kurt Hawkins is Kurt. Kings Road. Uh, IRS is Kings Road. AJ hey, Lee, Lee is King. Kings Road. Bray Wyatt is Kings Road. <laughs> Uh, under I, I just the Yeti is King's Road. <laughs> oh no. Uh, his default moveset though. Wait, did I just say Dennis Robbins' nickname was Worm? Yes, his nickname is The Worm. <laughs> oh, I didn't, didn't know that. A Severe City Bruiser, briefly featured during the TEW uh, stream. <laughs> uh, Damn, we can't hire Riza. <laughs> Imagine gay nits on the. I, I think that's how you say it. I, I can never. Yeah. Uh, oh, Ma we could hire Makabe. Wasn't that that guy give, uh, giving Hugman all that candy before? Yeah. <laughs> gay -ness. Okay. Togi Makape has had a dating sin made about him. Really? <laughs> yeah, using like the same visual novel style as the um, the Fire Pro, like Champion Road, uh, career was, mode. Was this before or after the Fire Pro thing? Before, I think. Before. So a lot of people are wondering if it was like an engine <laughs> test. The title Megazord is King's Road and popular everywhere. <laughs> I, I feel comfortable letting a giant mech. <laughs> I mean, look, yeah. We already, have... <laughs> we already have... realize. Uh... We'll have to debut him next week though, because we realize we have to leave somebody off the show. Yep. Mm. Alrighty. Um, management merchandise. Uh, let's produce some goods and some towels. <laughs> Apparently, uh, towels are really popular at Housewives, according to this game. <laughs> yeah. The only matches we are allowed to run are normal matches. Well, we can run other matches, but like they will not nearly be as popular. Yeah, that's more what I mean. Okay, what if I click random entry? What will happen? <laughs> no! First match, Alex Shelley versus Chris Saban. La Hiedra versus Kevin Nash. Jimmy Wang Yang versus Bull Nakano. Pirata Morgan versus the Dino Megazord. <laughs> <laughs> Hurricane Helms versus Waylon Mercy. Katara Suzuki versus Luna Vachon. <laughs> Shark Boy team against Bolshoi team. That's the main event. Shark Boy, <laughs> Takamichinoko, and Funaki. <laughs> Taking on Command Bolshoi, Mortis, and Fuka Kakamoto. Wow, it just. Oh, yeah, I guess it would be stable, wouldn't it? I would say let's. This kind of works. Let's just shift around a few of the people. Yeah, I'm gonna clear out. I was gonna say I have like uh, actually. Uh, the problem is I got all of the uh, pirate paparazzi people fighting each other. Mm. So they're not. <laughs> they're, in, they're in fighting already. We didn't even start. <laughs> I was actually gonna say let, let's use Dino Megazord next week and get everybody that we've already hired established. Yes, that did that did remove a bunch of our um, a bunch of our uh, attendance though. Well, to be fair, we, we still have to put the rest of our people on. Yeah, and Kevin Nash and Pirata Morgan are fighting in empty matches. <laughs> it's like, where's the giant mech, damn it? So we got Saya Ida, Alex Shelley, Chris Sabin, La Hiedra. Uh, it seems like the only people that are left are pirate paparazzi, so I gotta fix that. Mm. Wait, that match is actually great. I'm keeping that match. Which one? <laughs> uh, 
Kataru Suzuki versus Luna Vachon. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> The only problem is, aside from Kevin Nash, like every mem like every member is like unbooked. This is gonna take some like screwing around. I would almost say like change around, like get rid of the main event. Yeah. As, I was just actually a make a suggestion for the main event. Yo. Uh. Inaugural Tag Team Championship match, Kai and Tai versus uh, Motor City Machine Guns. Okay, that works. Although, if you're going to do Kai and Tai, uh, make Funaki the first one so they come out with their actual theme. Sure, sure. Alright, so tag team match. So, Funaki and then Taka? Yeah. You know, with parts craft, you could probably make like that, bait, like uh, placeholder guy in that graphic there. Which placeholder guy? Oh, this guy. Yeah, but when you don't pick anybody, <laughs> yet. where it's like just like completely pitch black with like a like a white gradient outline. Yeah, I'm almost tempted to do that now. They're even using the power stance, so it's. Like... I'll save him. Okay, so we got the machine guns. It's my show, so I can have Kotaro Suzuki in the semi main event if I want to. That's fair. <laughs> Do we still want Luna Vachon, or do we want him to go against somebody else? I think Luna is a pretty good matchup for him. Alright. Let's see, who do we have left? There's nobody have... cap for food got a fight. So... <laughs> Come on. What? Yeah, here. Thank you, Spectre. Uh, let's see. We got five people on the squadra, three people here, three people here. So. Okay. <laughs> they should just like make uh, Al Pacino's character from that movie and then just have him fight Waylon Mercy and have it be like <laughs> this weird mirror match. Hmm. There's nobody cat-like for Fu gonna fight, is there? <laughs> uh, not yet. <laughs> it's true, we do have uh, Pito running around. I feel like he should fight another man from the south. Yeah. I'm glad this has his uh, flying Elvis's attire, like Sasha mentioned earlier today to me. <laughs> uh, and apparently this is one character that uh, Sasha had to troubleshoot uh, at first. <laughs> yeah, so we got a Jimmy Wang Yang. But we didn't realize that whoever had made him did some weird things with his, uh... With his logic. Yeah, where he was doing a cross knee bar 90% of the time. <laughs> I'll draw the audience in. <laughs> Fuka. I'm curious, because I, I, I think she went with a mask at one point, but... 
Uh, the, the fourth one's, uh, interesting looking. <laughs> Puka versus... I'd say Puka versus Saya. Alright. I think These are I just did... different shades of green. I kind of thought about <laughs> something else too, why it's like weirdly organized things the way it does. Mm -hmm. uh, Pirate Paparazzi are specifically a neutral stable. Oh, okay. Whereas Counterattack and Mel Squadra are face and heel. Mm hmm. Respectively? Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, I looked down, I, I looked down the list of Mel Squadra people, like, that's 85% heel. <laughs> and Command <laughs> Bolshoi that... for some reason. This is Chris Canyon, right? Yes. Okay. Who, like, I always knew because of Revenge, and then I saw, like, actual clips of him uh, wrestling. I was like, this guy is one of the best people I've ever seen in the ring. <laughs> yeah. Like, it is crazy how I've not really heard of him much, considering. Alright, so I got two left from everybody. We um, could do a big old, uh... I was about to suggest that we do a big old fuck fest on the top of the card, but I remember, oh, right, you can't do, like, multi-team matches. No. We would have to have two members of, like, what we could do is we could have two people from my team, two people from um, Melly's team, and then a person from Sasha's team on each side. Yeah, that could work. Huh. What do you think about that idea, Sash? I don't see why not. Cool. A Jimmy Wang Yang was in SmackDown vs. Raw. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I think he was in SVR 07? Might have some porting to do. Hurricane Helms. And... There you go, this looks like a decently superhero team. Yeah. And then... In fact, she, even, she even has like a similar palette to Hurricane. A very green team. Let's say use that one. It matches uh, Command Bolshoi. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. I mean, then again, thinking about, like, original paparazzi productions, they were always kind of, like, neutral entity. Uh-huh. Uh, try gymnasium. I guess adjust the ticket prices, see if we can squeeze out. Oof. Probably not. Might just stick to ten. Oh, wait, we also gotta do advertising. That's probably, uh... Well, where's what's his face? What? Can you make a referee for this? Well, Baron only I... picks like three at random. Oh. Yeah. Hey, right now he's picked Drake Wirtz, Randall Sweet, and Herb Dean. Let's do Herb Dean. Uh. Poster. Also... We got five extra people from a poster. <laughs> Yeah, it was the one that uh, we showed in that promo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those extra five people are all the Twitch viewers. <laughs> oh god, it winds up. Uh, I think if we just do Gymnasium 10 bucks, we're not really hurting for money, so this will be fine. Yeah. <coughs> oh wait, we wanted it to be a tag title match, didn't we? Yeah. Raw is in the heavyweight tag team title match. Let's save the heavyweight tall for when we can for when we can put on a uh, tournament. Sure, sure. All right, everybody cool with this card? Yep. Yep. So we'll just watch the main event probably. Uh, is that? I'll cool? make sure you like do the match settings too, and make sure everything like oh works out. Yeah. I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious about the first one too. But... 
I would honestly say we could also do, we could also, uh, as a friend put it, we could Benny Hell him. That's true. Set him to max speed. Play the literal <laughs> Benny Hill song that we have in there for their VGM. Alrighty. Uh, it would be under like 600 speed, I think. Alright. Should I do 600 uh, speed? Not eight, oh wait, 800 is the only one we We can put do. it at 600 on accident because we thought the max was 600. Oh, okay. Uh, should our tag <laughs> matches be uh, Tornado? Uh, yes. I yeah, think that honestly makes them go faster. <laughs> oh, this is dumb. <laughs> 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 I, oh, I still close enough. Port, I still have to port Vince Russo from a backstage assault into this game. Because, like, he has an actual match. I mean, uh, an actual moveset. Like, uh, well, moveset for what it's worth in that game. Yeah. But, there, there are grapples in there. <laughs> There's something there. Oh wait, this one is fine. This yeah, this is this sense. one we're we're not going to uh, Betty Hill. <laughs> we are finally cowboys. Alrighty. I will set this to one twenty-five and make it good. tornado tag match. All right. Okay, let's confirm this card. And see Benny what happens. Hill, yeah, the Betty Hill music didn't set off any uh, detection stuff. <laughs> it shouldn't. It better not. <laughs> if it does, it'll just be like. Bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> Wait. What? The Toshinden devs are still around and do the Senran, Senran Kagura games. <laughs> yep. Fuck? All right. So maybe we could see Ten Count in uh, one of those games then. <laughs> Is that just marvelous or? Uh, Tamsoft specifically. Oh, okay. All righty. <laughs> Gaia, aka Buff Sephiroth. Alright, I guess let's watch these something or others. <laughs> Quote unquote, watch. I'm not gonna try to commentate over them because that would be dumb. I mean, he could, but he probably had to do it. I've only seen one person ever do it, and that was Zeno Winwood. <laughs> Well, obviously next time we have to get him and then I have him complicated over this. <laughs> you can like still kind of see what's going on. <laughs> also, I apologize about Gerardo Morgan being kind of a loud guy. Uh, trust us when we say he was louder before. <laughs> Get up, get up, get up, get up. It's funny, this is actually like weirdly comprehensible. Yeah, if only like this is WWE has a problem having their uh, show be the length of like one of the rings movies. Maybe uh, just play like this. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're wrestling in compressed time. <laughs> What do? <laughs> See them not get in the ring. In turbo! <laughs> 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 
Jason. <laughs> Somebody won. Good commando, uh, oh, sorry, uh, pull that one off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right. <laughs> oh wait, that must have been one of those cases of uh, that was a seventy-eight percent of the match. I think it was one of those cases of like taunt is attached to a specific thing that he does. So when he did his taunt, he immediately went into doing the flying, like the flying fist. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh. All right. And now Boy, on the hottest this... match of WCW in 1998, <laughs> it's Mortis versus Kevin Nash. <laughs> we'll have to recreate this in revenge later. Because I, I like how Canyon is the primary one, but Mortis is like a weird hidden uh, costume perm. I can actually hear the music now. Now that there's not somebody screaming. <laughs> Yeah, that was just Benny Hill, though. <laughs> yeah, it really is like I'm watching WCW where I'm just like, after I guzzle like two pots of coffee. <laughs> watching the tapes in high speed. <laughs> Kevin just busted open. <laughs> Face the only reason I suggested like watching him and Benny Hilling is because I've I've seen a few cases where like it just kind of soft locks if you sim a match sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's WCW. Yeah. The ref is also bleeding. Yeah, he got knocked over at some point. <laughs> that was a ninety percent match. <laughs> Yeah, because people from the 90s were just like, Kevin won, hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Fuka versus Saya, here we go. In high speed. I get to see uh, what uh, Fuka will do while actually moving and not being a still picture. <laughs> Yeah. What a thing! 4-2-8 series. I think 4-2-8 more of like a straight up MMA lady, which I guess you can kind of play also is. <laughs> wow. You know what? That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Did, did, wait, did she crit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think crits kind of like bring the rating down by like 10% sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's all that training uh, fighting a giant cat. <laughs> Alright, time for Wayland Mercy at, ta at top speed. <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> He's You're somehow right. still moving at normal speed while Jimmy <laughs> Wang Yang is moving at a million miles an hour. <laughs> I just imagine everything around Waylon is going super fast, but he's not. It seems like fittingly unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> Much like Waylon himself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the world's going fast, but Waylon takes his time. <laughs> <laughs> now me. <laughs> uh, oh, what a great character. It's a shame he only did like two matches or something. Because he got injured too much. Yeah. A lot, lot of pins going on. <laughs> uh, sadly, could not get uh, Jimmy Wang Yang's theme in time. <laughs> also, kind of one of those cases of like, we were a little bit worried about potential copyright stuff. Yeah. Well, if the worst comes to the worst, I can always just, uh, put the Spider-Man running theme on it again. 
Thanks, hun. <laughs> okay, now you should just put Hans Zimmer as a heel wrestler in here. <laughs> yes. Alrighty. Here we go. Suzuki versus Luna. In high speed. In Zaku speed. <laughs> yeah, imagine Luna talking at high speed. She, she would just like sound like an angry poodle or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit of a Sean, just a manager. I mean, she actually wrestled for a bit. She wrestled at one point or another. Are you now? A little bit of a Sean. Yeah. I only remember her as being like Bulnakano's manager, and for a while Goldust's valet in uh, that period of time. You know, I didn't know either of that, but both of those make total sense. <laughs> <laughs> There's your link between, uh... <laughs> Yay! Between, uh... Damn. There's your link between Bull Nakano and Gangrel, I suppose. <laughs> Were they married? Yeah. Or are they... Wait, no, she's dead. Uh... Yeah. Unfortunately. That was a 79% match. <laughs> Lots of, like, almost, lots of almost 80s. <laughs> now for the main event. At normal speed. <laughs> well, normal speed for us. <laughs> so yeah, basically, we just fast still... forwarded through the show to get to the main event. <laughs> <laughs> Am I, uh. One of my friends does not understand why I uh, do these matches at 100. I was just like, I don't know. I mean, I'm <laughs> it just feels like the PS2 version that way. <laughs> we like 125 just because it feels a little bit faster. Yeah. Like, 100 is just like weirdly slow for Fire Pro for like the default. Mm -hmm. like, all the other ones like, ran at a way better speed. Like 125. <laughs> 125 yeah. to us feels like uh, Game Boy Advance version of speed, which is what we're the most used to. Yeah, definitely. Game Boy Advance version with like the weirdly really fluid animation. That's kind of where it's been out. I still gotta find a way to actually just like. Get a Game Boy Advance and Fire Pro 2, but apparently Fire Pro 2 is pretty rare. Yeah, we only have a copy of one here. Yeah, which uh, I did play around with that, and it, it's almost pretty much the same game. Both of them kind of were, it's just like Final Fire Pro added in that uh, basically fire promoter mode. Yeah. Which, uh. But <laughs> I'm just like trying to get a fire for a thing I can mess with if I'm on a train or something. <laughs> this song uh, is really weird to me because like it's my favorite song from Here Comes the Pain. It's my favorite like random um, in-game song. But for some reason a couple years ago they used this as like Doctor of Thugonomics John Cena's theme in a Smackdown vs. Raw game or like some weird remix of it. And I've always thought that was just so bizarre. And it was, it was kind of like, why did they why did they need to do that? They already have that John Cena's theme. Like, in their archives, like they own it. It's, I don't know, it's confusing. I think the fear, the honest to goodness theory I've had is just something about the one sample in his theme probably caused uh, problems. Yeah, I always wonder about uh, the fact that, like, more than half the wrestlers in uh, WCW funded for their entrances don't have things. It's just like, they're not getting in and out of it. But, like, some of them have them. Like, uh, Rick Steiner and the Disciple have their themes, but not not even like British Bulldog got his, so he's just coming out with like the British flag and all that, and all you hear is, <laughs> 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 
the generic like WCW Thunder theme song. Yeah. And uh, it would be also like hearing cool back to back. <laughs> I love that fucking theme. Oh, don't forget the wham, 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 wham. As soon as they say wolf back and back, it just fades out. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, because like, they fit like so many of those fucking clips on there. <laughs> Which I guess they're running out of space at that point. <laughs> also, yeah, Old Taco was really good. It's like the entire light heavyweight division was just like a fucking waste. It's really nothing depressing. new. Nothing new in the WWE C though. That's true. I think it's like the WWF light heavyweight title was getting more credibility in Mexico and Japan than in WWF. I think it says a lot that in uh, No Mercy uh, there was like three <laughs> separate. Bullies, but Taka and Funaki were the same character. Oh yeah! It's just like, that just showed me how little they actually cared. <laughs> but, like, and they were even planning to add Dude Love, so you'd have... It, it's like Kiyo from King of Fighters, but McFoley. <laughs> you just have an entire tag team of McFoley's. Um... Then, but uh, I don't think anything will be as bad as WWE uh, 2K15, where they had like five Randy Orton's, five Stings, three Alberto Del Rio's, yeah. three Sheamus's, three Mark Henry's, two different sets of the Usos. That, that, that's just starting to sound like a little kind of trilogy to me. <laughs> Also, I think this Five Things was a later game. <laughs> well, no Maybe, but I... Oh, sorry. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> the no, no mercy thing really gets me because that's way less space to work with. And yeah, absolutely. That's before they could have, like, 200 character rosters. <laughs> yeah, so they just use a chunk of it for the same guy as for <laughs> yeah, I think, like, all the women managers were, like... The same character for the most part too. Yeah, except like that, I think like there was one slot that was just four different with the lady wrestlers. <laughs> uh, and then there was was it WWE Raw two or Raw one that had like a Rey Mysterio that they added in in like a week. <laughs> it was that like was they two. just they just signed Rey Mysterio and they needed to get him in there. And like the picture of Rey Mysterio is just this like generic picture of a generic face with a blue mask, kind of like cruddily photoshopped onto it. <laughs> it's fantastic. Now Raw Two Mysterio needs to think of a turn <laughs> Don't look at me. I mean, I <laughs> I mean, some of those DLCs were getting there. Because they used, like, the same, like, ten characters for the, all those DLCs. Despite there being better options to you to, like, to work with. Yeah. God, I, yeah. I made the King of Fighters joke, and I kind of completely forgot that it's not even a joke anymore. <laughs> I'm pretty sure John Cena just adopted yeah. Shingo. <laughs> that picture is so wholesome. Yeah. Like this one scene where he's talking to Kia about Shingo while he's right there. He's just like, don't worry about it, I'll take this kid out of my way. And Shingo's like, uh, d d don't I get any say in this? And he replies, don't worry, kid, I'm John Cena. <laughs> 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 so he just adopted him without asking. <laughs> The story also, gets even uh, the story's getting weirder because it's like John Cena's story ends with him uh oh, wait. <laughs> But uh John Cena's story ends with him 
destroying nests and turning it into a pharmaceutical company. <laughs> he still, he still lets Ignis uh, run the whole operation, which I find kind of interesting. Uh, Rock story ends with him making Orochi his movie sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> so he's Johnny Cage, I guess? <laughs> I don't know how Undertaker's story ends, but apparently he just causes everyone- His mere presence causes everyone in the KOF universe internally shit their pants. <laughs> except for Iori. That makes total sense. Iori's used to hanging out with dead people. Yeah. Like, even- It's like, man, what the fuck? <laughs> so our, I, I for our inaugural- uh, Raw is Emmy's tag team champions, or heavyweight tag team champions, are uh, Kai and Tai, circa like 1998. <laughs> good start. Like post Venus Kai and Tai, so like. The good. The good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think your mic keeps getting cut off, Sash. Oh. 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 Okay. Fuga's Saeeda already... has been hospitalized. Fuga's already killing people. <laughs> she needs four off. <laughs> like you days, months, off. weeks? Four. Min <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to imagine a game with one Valve. <laughs> I'd Success. imagine the game would. Oh yeah. Wait, but the what? fans weren't satisfied. <laughs> Success. Uh, this show sucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now for the section. Where Iron Sheik, Pete, and Billy Gunn. <laughs> Chris, wait a minute. <laughs> Are there three Chris Sabins in this game? Wall, Rick, and Rock. <laughs> oh, Donald Del Mundo, the tag team champions in Stardom. <laughs> I. 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 <laughs> or something. 205 and Mr. Oh, God, I already forgot what it was. Mr. Like OC. Jerry Jazz. <laughs> Rosemary and Battle Liger. <laughs> Ramon won the SNK title. That is fair. Little Mac and Captain Falcon. <laughs> oh, Armika's partner. Temujin. And Jeffrey. <laughs> Skull? Uh, hold on. It might be Kamen Rider Skull, maybe. Uh, John Cena and Yoshitatsu just won the... Uh... I think it's John Cena and Yoshitatsu who just won the Sash Down Tag Team Championships. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we gotta check the belts. I have to <laughs> process yeah. everything. Well, the problem is every belt that's a tag title will just say blank team, so you can't actually uh, see. If you go to, like, promotion info, I think there's a better way to look around that. Oh, yeah, you could just, like, look at the members or something with, like, Scout and... And they never, fixed they never fixed that. They never fixed the you have a tag team tournament with Sega. <laughs> uh, fun fact, uh, no we're not. They're having the tag team not us. <laughs> I love these these people here because you can really tell who some of them are supposed to be. Like the dude in the middle is Zack Sabre Jr. The dude on the left is Bushi. Th that's obviously Keiji Muto back there. <laughs> I just like how none of them have eyes. <laughs> A <laughs> lot of tournaments this month. Yeah. The from one of SNK, from SNK. <laughs> Shin Bitch found somebody in Europe. They found Char, I think. <laughs> I say Sha, so... Huh. I have to go check it out. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! 
I'm screenshot that. <laughs> he has a successor. <laughs> I'll sell off. No! You... He got in the rocket again. <laughs> I mean, he's a free agent. He didn't retire yet. <laughs> A new month brings new opportunities. Let's check the merchandise. Uh, well, people, the towels are selling okay. The goods aren't selling very good. <laughs> we may, may have misread Sagata and Shell sell out. <laughs> <laughs> I might have misread the goods market. <laughs> so like, dollar store? Like, it, it, that's all. <laughs> I have like Dollar Tree sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> I want Prince Pepperoni to sponsor us. That too. I would like to be sponsored by Burning Hammer, but considering how that guy handles things in that game, I'm not sure that would be good for a federation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, said they found him in Europe, I think. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Europe. Sebastian. Uh... Oh. Uh, yeah, go to the right. Below Gonets, I think. I mean, gain it, gain us. <laughs> oh, yep, it is Char. He's not King's <laughs> Road, though. Oh, Damn. God, Arthur. <laughs> that remind me of Beatdown right now. <laughs> Do you have any King's Road people in Latin America? Toa and RA. What uh, style is Pito? Probably strong. Strong style. Man. Strong style, yeah. Like, almost all my characters are strong, I don't know why. <laughs> what is Jay Hunter doing in Latin America? <laughs> he is just... Hanging out. Dario Cueto is King's Road. Oh, hey, wait, wait on I, him. I, I didn't notice uh, Maya Inca boy is up there. <laughs> Akira Teyu. Uh in disguise there. Uh, okay. Not a lot of King's Road unless we want Dario Cueto. <laughs> there Kanishi, we go. Makabe. Yeah, I think uh, when I was making Pito, um, I think everything should be the same as when I made them in the PC version because I just kind of sat... Uh, I was over Sasha's, I just spent like an hour porting them, but uh, I think there are parts <laughs> unknown, which I think is when the game just is like, uh, they're in Europe, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we should get somebody to replace Sayaita. Death Yamasan? You know what, yeah. yeah. Alright. They don't hate us, that I can say for sure. If Death Yamasan <laughs> hated oh, me... damn it. Death, Death, doesn't... Doesn't... <laughs> Death doesn't agree to your terms. <laughs> well, no contracts this month. Well, shin bitch, uh, out you go. I like how that's just their name now. <laughs> <laughs> His name is so weird because he's also got that really big space. <laughs> yeah, it's like... He, like, scribbled out his last name to change it to an O instead of a C. <laughs> now, luckily we have the Dino Megazord this week. Yeah, we do <laughs> still have an even number, I guess. Do we want him to stay, um... Stay teamless for now, yeah. Uh... Yeah, he's, all, he's already on no affiliation, so... Okay. Nobody wants to affiliate with Megazord. <laughs> I think the Megazord should fight Saida. Mutual, Ooh. like... But Saida is injured. I mean, Fuga Kakimoto. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Just the Dino Megazord being this art neutral 
arbitrator of justice. <laughs> Her guy's just gonna fight a bunch of weird things. <laughs> the one time she didn't, she ended up uh, injuring the poor lady. <laughs> I'll make that uh, semi main event. God, this is gonna be so weird to think about once we actually get in the ship with a scramble. Oh, right, we have to consider uh, everybody's status, too. Oh, yeah, it could be tired. Or, like, middle or anything. A little bit has got a fuck neck. Or get, got a yellow neck at least. Oh yeah, I should look at that, see who I shouldn't have on. So just... Oh, so down and Megazord is fine. Obviously. <laughs> Sharkboy's <laughs> fine. Tak is fine. Suzuki's fine. Funaki's fine. Fine-ish. He's got a little bit of a hurt neck, but... Hurricane's fine. Jimmy's fine. Luna's okay. Uh... <laughs> Whale of Mercy has a very slightly hurt neck. <laughs> <laughs> or Saida is very hurt. <laughs> Alex Shelley's fine. Nash is fine. Saban's fine. Saban's fine. So okay, everybody but Saeed is okay. <laughs> yeah. I, For now. <laughs> Sasha, I'm, I'm I'm sorry your characters keep dying. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should have a junior heavyweight title match. And see who is who is available for that. Let's see, Shark <laughs> a Boy. lot of people, I think. Yeah, Shark Boy, Taka, Kotaro, Kunaki, Hurricane, Jiyuang Yang, Luna Vashon, Command Bolshoi, Bol Nakano, Fuku Kakimoto, Alex Shelley, Chris Sabin, Mahiedra, and Parada Morgan. So I would like to, to do my usual, um, my usual Vince Russoing and book Kotaro Suzuki in the main. <laughs> Any objections? Nah. None whatsoever. Okay. Cool. Um, so who? Uh, let's consider just folks who won last week. Uh, who won last week? The Command Bolshoi won a match. Uh, Bolka, I think, won her match. Luka won her match, but she's already got a match on for tonight. Let's say let's do yeah. a boy. Okay. Pink. Yeah, it was that's such... a weird one. <laughs> and Bolshoi Kid. Do pink. Uh, the pink one is usually the one I uh, associate her the most with. They're probably like a throw a couple tag matches in there too, like non title matches. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm tempted to make the thumbnail for this one just like her in a fighting stance against Megazord. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who we got? Oh well, yeah, I'll throw in a tag team match. Against the Undertaker. Um, I'm gonna give Taka and Funaki the week off, I think, maybe. And see if I can get a number one contender out of... Let's see, not Shelly and Sabin. What about Kevin Nash... He has he win uh winning his match last week has um given him some youth. <laughs> He's feeding off of their life force. <laughs> Parada and Nash, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Old men running the world. <laughs> A new age. Alright. Uh Bolnakano and Luna Vashon, I think. Alright. That'll work, yeah. 
Let's do the first one if you're gonna do, uh... Because that was what you were with specifically Bolnacano. Oh, so find the blue hair. That one? Uh, uh... The blue hair with the gold... I guess the second one, then. This one? Okay. <laughs> yeah. God. That's all I remember how old these people are, and I get a little worried. Uh, th 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 I'm gonna say. Shark Boy? I'll say maybe in like. The... We'll do like. Uh... I think we should do all singles matches for now because yeah, we don't have a lot of people left. I was gonna say. Waylon Mercy and Shark Boy. <laughs> I'm going fishing. You know what I mean. I said, uh, said exactly that after you said it. <laughs> <laughs> now I threw a rock in the water and it hit a shark and now he's mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little too easy to like improv as I'm starting to notice. <laughs> Uh, Melly, you should go back and watch, like, Bray Wyatt's first ever promo. It's really interesting because he's just doing a straight-up Waylon Mercy impression. Like, he's <laughs> yeah. talking slow, he's got a very exaggerated, like, Louisiana accent. <laughs> I have the, the, the earliest one I've seen is, uh... I'm regarding Bray Wyatt anyway is around the era where McGillicuddy was still a thing. I forget what his name was back then. Uh, it yeah. would have it would have still been uh, wait Bray Wyatt's name Bray Wyatt's uh, name or McGillicuddy? Yep. Uh, Bray's. It would have been Husky time. Harris. Oh, okay, yeah. Because <laughs> I just remember doorknobs. Well, I use one to get in here. <laughs> Mortis versus... Hmm. Mortis versus the Hurricane. Again, very green. <laughs> what green going on? <coughs> Alrighty. Let's see. Jimmy Wang Yang. Old JWY. Jimmy Wang Yang as Akio as Jimmy Wang Yang. Versus. <laughs> Black Hydra. Alright. Wait, the but then blazers. I think the only match. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Then we would have to have the Motor Mas Shitty Machine Guns match. Which I'm fine with. <laughs> Just a nice little exhibition between partners, I guess. Fair enough. Cool. Oh, right, right. The the, the weird, like, puppets uh, associated with Brain. Including that one puppet that looks like me as a puppet. That still words me out. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, Abby the Witch. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what? When did I get turned into one of the characters from Puppet Master? <laughs> okay. Uh... Promoting, promoting getting mad at team versus team matches. It's actually a good question. I don't actually know. All right, so we can actually um, fill out the small hall. Everybody, check <laughs> the referee. I was gonna say also change the referee around. Oh. We can now have <laughs> someone else and Sasha. I was actually gonna say, like, use one of the preset referees because they can make the match ratings bigger. Yeah, but Sasha's right there. <laughs> What's your vote, Melly? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm torn. Uh, I'd like to see Sasha ref. But... <laughs> I'm but okay also... if our, I'm okay if our match ratings aren't perfect. If, if for the sake of comedy. <laughs> But also, the ref is Sasha, so I feel like the ref has a say in deciding what the ref is. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha, do you want to be the ref? 
I mean, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> Everything's already still there. Just gotta make sure the main event's not a uh, 800 speed. Yeah. Unless there's any extra ones you want to watch. Yeah. Um. I kind of want to watch Fuka versus the Dino Megazord. Yeah, that one's a, that one's special. <laughs> Junior heavyweight title match, all good. All right. Everything looking good for everyone? Yep. Looking good. Sash? Yeah. All right. Let's hope nobody knows shows. <laughs> well, there are, con if they're under contract from us, I don't think they can. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's save. <laughs> I just got so used to inviting like 10 people and then having like half of them show up. <laughs> I don't think Promote Fire Promoter gets mad at team versus team matches. I just think it's weird to have stable mates fighting each other. <laughs> no, the uh, other got... ate the other last slice of pizza and the other is mad at them. <laughs> We, we had, uh... <laughs> 2 to 51 had his main character just beat the shit out of people at restaurants, so... <laughs> okay. Alright, let's proceed with the... Sh let's get on with the show. Feb event. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> All right, Whalen Mercy versus Shark Boy at 800 speed. <laughs> I think maybe after this event we'll just do some exhibitions, maybe. Maybe. Your call. I think we could fit another month in. Probably, yeah. We'll see how it goes, though. This match is for the right to keep wearing a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did the truck might put on his shirt for this match? <laughs> Does that mean that after this match, uh, the Wiz is banned from wearing a shirt? Put on the ground punch at, uh, max speed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear this right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just what so hard. You have to go tw nearly 20 minutes. <laughs> Guys, it's the opener! Wait, you sound like he's burping. <laughs> Maybe he is. <laughs> My god, you two, wrap it up! <laughs> I sound like we're back. He's doing nearly 30 minutes for the right to wear a shirt. <laughs> Waylon Mercy takes off his shirt to reveal I was wearing a shirt the whole time. <laughs> He's wearing two shirts. <laughs> that was 93%. That makes sense. <sighs> anyway, Hurricane Helms versus Mortis. Speaking of WCW in like 2000. <laughs> I'll say, Sandy. Yeah, we. <laughs> yeah, we have the. Uh, we have Fujikaki Moto fighting. Uh. 
The Megazord. Yeah, <laughs> right to wear green. <laughs> I actually couldn't remember what Megazord was from because I'm bad out of touch with this stuff. But what do we do if Hurricane wins? He has all green outfits. <laughs> we download Gregory Helms. <laughs> We can't make this a match versus match. Actually, yeah, let's save that for down the line. Oh wait, is he? Huh. <laughs> it's not a matter of Hurricane Holmes if uh, whoever wears green because he can't see it apparently. <laughs> All right, we can stick to we can stick to Kayfe. We can put Mortis in his blue outfit. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. <laughs> I, I, I just I totally could believe that if he told me that was true. <laughs> My favorite superhero is Grey Lantern. What? <laughs> <laughs> also, he, he does have a, a really cool alternate color, so I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, on to the next one. That first match, despite being at 800 speed, was exhausting. <laughs> it was like running a marathon in like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the difference is between the red and the green lantern cord. <laughs> they both seem pretty angry. Honestly, every time I see Hurricane Helms' uh, name, I just hear uh, Rear from Street Fighter the movie going, uh, I mean, no, that was Ken, going, Hurricane! I just keep hearing that all the time. <laughs> I have to say, is there any Street Fighter the movie characters for Fire Pro? And not only do they make a movie vodka, but there's like, I think, four Tsalatas on the uh, PC version. <laughs> yeah, like, when they start running around, that's when they start with <laughs> Jimmy Wang Yang is now 2 0. <laughs> If there's a wrestling game with Street Fighter, the movie Jungle System. Wait, no, right? Jimmy Wang Yang's only 1 0. Jimmy Akio's 1 0 now. <laughs> well, so, I mean, WWE All Stars might be what you're looking for. That game yeah, has a massive juggle system. <laughs> yeah. Why is Jimmy Wang Yang just incapable of getting a match above, like, 75? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Motor City Machine Guns feud over like the last slice of pizza or some shit. Yeah, definitely. The last can of beer in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> the right to call Kevin Nash dad. <laughs> and also pizza. To call the right to call Kevin Nash pizza? No, no, I have pizza with Kevin Nash. <laughs> <laughs> the right to go to Chuck E. Cheese is with Kevin Nash. <laughs> what are imagine. they both, 12? <laughs> yes. I think I'm Saban just Mark. did two cradle shocks in a row. <laughs> I'm just hearing Mark Yellow going, Pizza party. <laughs> This is just how they act at normal speed. <laughs> this is just what a machine gun smash is like. Heartless comment there. Well, the pizza with some other illusion like Hogan. You don't have to skill the dexterity to have the pizza. Go on. Go on. Go. Go to like Domino's or something. Go. Go. <laughs> Alright, Saban gets to go to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> With his oh, new right. dad, oh. Kevin Nash. <laughs> Alex Shelley yeah. has to stick to going to like Jokers with Kushida again. <laughs> Kushida's gonna take him to Moss Burger. Kushida's gonna they take him to the la it. like last surviving Discovery Zone in America. <laughs> Saban is gonna spend so many of his tokens on that uh Sega Jurassic Park game. <laughs> Alright. 
Now the number one contenders for the tag team titles. <laughs> At 800 speed. <laughs> That's the important part. <coughs> Excuse me. I have to go to Chuck E. Cheese's DDP because <laughs> it's not like I have a choice anyway. Fight. <laughs> oh boy. shit, this is a regular tag team match. Whoops. That's fine. Yeah, I with the speed. What's wrong? Oh, you hey. heard, Nash. You don't want to go to Pizza Hut with Roddy Piper? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of the name Liv Joker running Pizza Hut. It's not really coming out, though. I just imagine like that, like Roddy putting on those glasses, but every side just says "Eat a Pizza Hut." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the NWO is taking over the ball pit again. <laughs> the only way you can get into the play plays is if you join the NWO. That's why there's so many people in it. <laughs> Somebody get in the tent, and I think Vince is at the bottom of the ball pit. <laughs> wow. I like how much it slowed down. Just one, two, three. <laughs> That's the dramatic uh, KO. Uh, <laughs> All right. Next month, we'll find out if Kevin Nash is going to be taking his kid to Chuck E. Cheese with the tag team title strap around his waist. Gerardo Morgan is also here, I guess. That no, was a nice match. Be... I, have to... I think I might have to make the thumbnail not only Fuka and Megas are about to fight fighting in a ball pit while Kevin Nash is standing in it. This is, a... is going to be a project for you. Yeah. I just realized Saban versus Shelly was 91. Wow. <laughs> All right. Time for the Dino Megazord to eject... To... Enact righteous vengeance or lose. <laughs> Will Fuka continue her reign of terror? As long as Megazord isn't being controlled by a cat, which, I mean, I don't know if it is. <laughs> I guess we don't know. <laughs> I think Raven's flock just hangs out at Dave and Buster's. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey. Not even in the Dave and Buster's, in like. In like the trash area behind the Dave and Buster's. <laughs> Reese doesn't actually play any of the games, he just sits there in the restaurant the whole time. Sick boy, well probably won't get the six up <laughs> I like how it's been all real wrestling and then this is that. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it all the more special. Oh my god. <laughs> Who knows, it could be a real person. It could be like Bob Sapp under there. That would make a lot of sense, honestly. <laughs> that just sounds like something you'd do for a Japanese event. It's actually I, just the Yete under there. I appreciate that the... the that the chat is just turning into like WCW at ca WCW wrestlers at various casual dining establishments. <laughs> Malenko does seem like an Olive Garden type of guy. I think the four horses as a whole seem like big Olive Garden people. <laughs> yeah. Like Malenko didn't have much personality in the looks of it, so he probably just get to end this bridge the entire time. No, no, he gets, he gets the endless salad the whole time. Yeah, that makes it seem better. Oh my god, Puka! <laughs> what this lady? She is trained in MMA. Yeah. Jesus. That was a bad <laughs> joke. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, I am the Dedic. <laughs> we should get the free that. salads and the free breadsticks, Dedic. <laughs> Unlimited super salad. If that doesn't have, he... if that's not enough for the only restaurant in the area that has Melly Yellow. Yeah, I was just about to ask whether it was Melly Yellow or Mountain Dew. Remember? So, Brooke is just running Megazord over. It looks. Okay, but real talk, I think the BW would go to like Romano's Macaroni Grill and call Olive Garden. <laughs> These restaurant headcans. <laughs> you don't have to come up with one for Chris Jericho because we know where he loses his title belt. <laughs> <laughs> There's something you're just pointing at or just going three, four. <laughs> well, she wasn't even moving. <laughs> Honestly, the more I think about Alex Ray, the more I'm convinced that he's just kind of a Streets of Rage enemy. <laughs> Especially with a leather jacket. <laughs> then again, Megazord would probably just be a pretty great screen boss, so. <laughs> There's an annoying enemy pet that would just throw you out of the ring constantly. <laughs> Ever since then, all Jericho can think can go to is Omaha Stakes. <laughs> he goes to like the headquarters of a <laughs> delivery by mail steak company to eat steaks? Yes. I I, I know what I said. Megazord is getting angry. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like DDT like had a thing where they uh had like a death had like one of their usual street matches at a steakhouse. For the Iron Man title. Sounds like something DDT would do. Man. Kraft yeah. would eat at fucking McDonald's. <laughs> My favorite part about Wrath is how he kept about to be. Let me, let me try to sentence again. Uh. <laughs> My favorite part about Wrath is that he was almost in various games and he just kept getting taken out. <laughs> Because <laughs> he's in revenge, but he's unused, and he was going to be a WrestleMania the arcade game, and then just completely like didn't do it. <laughs> Imagine Midway style atom bomb. <laughs> the funny thing about him we in were revenge too is that I'm just glad we were spared from ever having chronic in a game. The Selena. Hey, Selena's great. You can take that back. <laughs> you know who he is? He's the Cobra of the WWE world. Uh, still a little too interesting. I'd say he's like the uh, the Blaze. Oh wait, no, no, he would. <laughs> the Kira. I'd say the. Sh <laughs> uh, Dairo. There we go. <laughs> Kira and Cobra both feel like they could have gone somewhere if they, like, tried, but it was PS2 Mortal Kombat so they didn't. The Chronic and the Japanese. Rip that robot thumb, I had to look that up. <laughs> I don't know how to back doing that move, it's really great. Also, he's getting really tired. Could go either way here. Have, has anyone gone for like a pin in a while? Mostly, I think submissions. I think we might have accidentally just made a gruesome match here. Sadira <laughs> yeah. is my favorite killer instinct character, and of course, apparently, she's the worst character in the game. Which, uh, seems to happen to me a lot. 
thing when I started playing uh, Death Jam more. It was like, you know, just for laughs at... Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> She is a machine that cannot be stopped. <laughs> Talking to two matches, so I'm probably hyping her up a little too bit, but, uh, too much, but still took it to yeah, 100. But... Yeah, wow, geez. that makes sense. That was a good match. <laughs> and finally, the inaugural junior heavyweight champion. Ship match. Yes. No, the inaugural champion is this match. Yeah. That sounds like an Iron Man heavy metal weight title thing. <laughs> now, regarding characters being either garbage tier or top tier, uh, it turns out the team that I used in Rage of the Dragons was both. Uh, I used both the worst character and the best character on one team. The crowd approves of it even kicking the shit out of a Megazord. <laughs> I, just w I just want to remind everybody, when we do play Shibuya a Scramble, we will see that lady fight a lady in a cat mascot outfit. And who knows Aikido for some reason. Let's <laughs> go for I feel like DDP could only ever eat at like, Jersey Mike's. This go Inferno seems like a, I'm gonna order mozzarella sticks and take it home in a styrofoam container and <laughs> die. <laughs> now I have like hey, that you know short I, I, I realized something. DDP would probably just eat it with fucking uh, sheets. <laughs> Now, which, which wrestler would you in a Wawa, though? I don't know what a Wawa is. That's, uh... Face oh, shit. Oh, sorry oh, about that. Happened. Controller got disconnected. Oh. Stream exploded <laughs> for a moment, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, unexploded. <laughs> nah, it's unexploded. Gas station hoagie. Yeah, basically. They have what, some of the best hoagies ever. I can see the disciple pulling into a Wawa and just like, <laughs> get me a classic. <laughs> and Leslie just keeps coming back to the same Wawa in different looks. Okay. Okay, but who's like the midnight snack showing up completely mentally blasted at a 7 Eleven at like 2 in the morning? Zodiac. <laughs> Ed, yeah, that sounds about right for Ed Leslie. <laughs> Del Venus and Hooters. Yeah, that, that makes sense because... I was gonna say Brian Pillman, but... <laughs> yeah, Del Venus and Hooters makes a lot more sense when you remember that Hooters food is awful. Oh no! Whoa. Command Bolshoi with the Blue Destiny. <laughs> I haven't seen one of those in a hot minute. I don't remember the last time in Firefly I've seen somebody steal their people's moves. Not alone the finishers. Okay, yeah, RVD would also be like completely high off his goddamn horse, showing a, showing up at a 7-Eleven at like three in the morning, just just sitting there watching the hot dogs rotate for like <laughs> two hours. I really appreciate that this has been the topic of conversation for the last 20 goddamn minutes. <laughs> Through like the entire upper card of this show. I'm sorry, it's infectious. No, it's great. Um, <laughs> Alright, what about Midnight Denny's? Probably also RPT. <laughs> In, the <same laughs> night. In the same night? <laughs> yeah. Watching the hot dogs rotate in the back. <laughs> the chef's confused. Bro, if you want more pancakes, I'm good for it. It's got a hole in a restaurant, it just sounds like it sounds scary. I mean, there's that scene where he's at a 
your outside and eat her in, he just slaps the food off the table. <laughs> Uh, ball short. We all That's love our muscle grandma. Yeah. Clown muscle grandma, yeah. <laughs> Who's this? Uh, also... This so far as this game cannot properly, accurately portray how fucking tiny she is. <laughs> yeah. She is tiny, but looks like she could probably throw you into the stratosphere right anyway. And also, uh, I'm noticing she has a taste in camo while rocking the clowns are deep. <laughs> so. I don't know how there is not like a fighting game character based off her, to be honest. Tarantula! Jeez. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> That sounds about right. I want Joshi Fitness Mags. Yeah, seriously. Also, what better person to sell that than a hero? <laughs> what's the name of the girl that's in AEW that's like the opposite of Command Bolshoi, where she's like five foot nothing and weighs like two pounds? Um. Uh, <laughs> define further. What? Define further, please. Like, like the ja little Japanese wrestler in AEW. You talking about Riho? Yeah, where she's like 90 pounds and like <laughs> incredibly small. And looks justifiably terrified when Nyla Rose pops out because there's no way, like. <laughs> Not even with suspension of belief that could work out. <laughs> All right. So... Even I wish I was at a. <laughs> Sorry, with uh, what they just said there. Uh, I suddenly wish I was at Chikara shows. <laughs> Still, practically a child is like half the stardom roster at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops. Uh, so Katara Suzuki. I, I must have booked this match because Katara Suzuki wins. <laughs> oh, so yeah, Laparka. I could. He's just the guy handing out candy at Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So we got an 84 and a full house. So not bad for our second month. Alright, nobody got injured. Hey. <laughs> Disrespectful candy. <laughs> Great success. A follow show, except for the 152 people that had to, like, <laughs> walk from the window. Chris, uh, a Chris, I don't know which Chris. We can probably find out this. Tiger Mask is the <laughs> New Japan I the WG Heavyweight Champion. Bret Hart is the WCW title, as it should be. Julia yeah. is the stardom, it's the World of Stardom Champion, as it should be. The Pac and... Kiss? Sunny Kiss. <laughs> Mike, John, Mike. and Jerry. Cassandra Miyagi and Plum Mariko. <laughs> Doctor of Independent. That might be Dr. Wagner Jr. Gadu Feet Ga Galford. Galford and <laughs> Daisaku Kuze and Goro Majima. Uh, pen. Go. Pen. Oh, I. Marky Yoshi and Jody Threat. We we are yeah. still losing money because I had to buy all that gym equipment. <laughs> we didn't make all that much money either. Nothing happens. <laughs> it's fiction. We made it up. So it's quarter to midnight now. Do we want to try to just do some exhibitions or? Maybe. Uh, New Japan scouted Ricochet as it should be. <laughs> they found Regina in America. I think that's Regina from Dino Crisis specifically. <laughs> no! 
<laughs> Why does this keep happening? <laughs> Night will just end up in like WCW or something. <laughs> oh boy. This, keep, this seriously keeps happening every time we have done Fire Promoter and involved New Japan. <laughs> Naito keeps leaving! Oh, is that that's a constant thing? Okay. Naito's on our wrestling Nakano and Parada Morgan have been feuding for a while now, but hostilities finally exploded between them. The industry is in an uproar. This this illustration bothers me because I keep thinking the guy on the left has like a huge ponytail, but he doesn't. <laughs> oh yeah, like he's got one of those little like martial arts ponytails where you're bald except for that one spot. Yeah. Bola kind of brought him. We're gonna be a fucking amazing feud, actually. <laughs> yeah. So we got to make that the main event for the next one. Uh, someone write that down, please, because I don't know if we're gonna be doing. Month three right now. We can always book the match this week and just uh, show it next week. Yeah, I guess we can do that. Yeah. We can. I think we can hold off uh, the tag title match for a week. Hmm. Well, we can make either the. Well, I mean, we can just make one of them the main. Oh wait, no, because that's right. Because that was for the. Number one contender is right. Uh, okay. Few title belts. Funaki team. Christian is the WWE champion. Oh, as it should be. Uh, Iron team. That that's what we have to look at, like in their promotion stats. Yeah. Tiger Mask. You want to just go to the promotion info and then look through there? I I know. I'm just going through this really quick. Bret Hart. Wall team. <laughs> wall team. <laughs> wall team. <laughs> That's the wall team, brother. All three of them. <laughs> Julia, Micah team. So, uh, oh, he's just kicking ass. Oh. The stream exploded again. I'm sorry. Also, hey, uh, thanks for stopping by. We're about to wrap up in a little bit, though. <laughs> Aja Kong team, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pac team. <laughs> Pac, Pac team. team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 205 team. <laughs> yeah, who is 205? I think that's like the mascot of like, of like 205 Live. Jerry oh. team. Jerry Seinfeld team. <laughs> I think that's Jerry Lynn, but it could be Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> Mike T. Oh, he's, he's already in Grunk Squad, so... <laughs> Miyagi Team. Megumi <laughs> Team. A lot of teams. Yep, Dr. Wagner Jr. Uh, Rosemary Team. Ramon. Ro Ramona's Galford team. team. Yeah. Galford and Ramon, which... <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Somehow not the Little Sega team. champion. <laughs> Little team. <laughs> Who is Little team? <laughs> Yamato Nadeshko. Yeah, Armika's partner and not Armika is the champion. Goro team. Skull team. Is that Skull from Power Rangers, or...? <laughs> no, I what? think it's Common Rider Skull. Oh. Uh, Kroy team. Beb... Pepsi Man. Pepsi, Pepsi Man oh. and Ghostface Killer are the... the video game tag team champions. Pepsi <laughs> Man and Ghostface Killer together sounds like a promotion that could've actually happened in the 90s. Uh, John team. <laughs> Just John. Mariko team. And that's it. Yeah, we got a promotion stats, I believe. Uh, uh wrestling, wrestling stats. stats. Uh, 
Mojo. Uh, Pete Pete. Dunn is a champion. I think he's one of the, like, tag champions. Billy Gunn. (laughs) Pete Pete Dunn, Billy Gunn. (laughs) Pete Dunn, Billy Gunn. And the Iron Sheik. (laughs) (laughs) If only the goon was the champion. (laughs) Azumi is in New Japan. <laughs> Cole Cabana's here. Chris Sabin, Chris Sabin is is working two is working two contracts. <laughs> this it, he has a lot of separate bodies that he's transferring between. <laughs> <laughs> Doki, yeah. Kevin Nash is also working two contracts, too. (laughs) This is younger, spryer Kevin Nash. (laughs) Oh, spryer. (laughs) Yeah, that's a good point. Shockmaster's here. Yeah, there is a Vince Russo here. Bro. (laughs) Zodiac, comma, (laughs) the... Oh, yeah. Blade Runner Rock. No man Smiley. Rick Rude. <laughs> Z- yeah, Zodiac the Yes No. <laughs> I like how we only have two signatures. <laughs> so it's and the, the wall. wall Wait, just... Rick Rude <laughs> and uh Blade Runner Rock. I suddenly remember why Jay Leno is here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bischoff. Stardom. Saeeda is also working a double contract. <laughs> and so I... is Azami. <laughs> love, love, love. Azure Kong, Pack, Pack Bastard. See, at first I thought that was X Pac. <laughs> so, like... Trent, Shock Trent, Rest. Trent, <laughs> Trent, <laughs> Greg. Sonny Kiss. I was at Yuri Sakazaki, and I got very confused. <laughs> Evil Uno. Big Swole? Oops, yeah, there's a wrestler named Big Swole. That's good. She seems pretty she seems pretty cool. Ah <laughs> Oh no, a bunch of new legacy characters. Yeah, this keep that carried down there. Wait, AEW has two Hikaru Shidas? Yeah, why not? Let's just stop questioning this. <laughs> Clonomania is running wild. Oh, right, it's the uh, Sasha and Melly fusion. Uh, they're they're active here. Tommy Wiseau is here. <laughs> Lita Ford. Who's Lita Ford? Uh, she's from the Runaways. Oh, easy Pete clone, but not the, uh, <laughs> Chris R. <laughs> Best. So, uh, for those that don't know what oh, no. Yellow is about, uh, we decided to have our own version of Noobs I bought, which was basically me and Sasha uh, basically fused and switch our names backwards, and this is what we ended up with. <laughs> and uh, Bearco Krokop, <laughs> which I believe is Sasha's creation. Yeah. <laughs> Finish your move, high kick. <laughs> See Rob Van Dam, Stevie Richards, Chad. Oh, Gaz. (laughs) 
Oh, that's a good point. Oh. <laughs> I was surprised that nobody uh, took advantage of the fact that the bunny lady from uh, My Hero Academia is also named Mirko. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Lynn is a double champion in ECW. As he deserves. Because he's hard. Core. Hey, it's Masato Tanaka. We were talking about him yesterday. Yeah, you will see uh, You will see our conversation about ECW and uh, XCOM and, uh, probably tomorrow. Because I'm uploading it tomorrow, hopefully. Or two. it was two days ago, not yesterday, but... Yeah, but I had to so, edit it and render it. So. so Jerry Lynn, Mike Awesome, and John Cronus. I don't know who John Cronus is. He was one half of the Eliminators with Perry Saturn. Okay. Andrus Miyagi's a double champion. Mariko. Bolnikano's uh, here. A lot of old Joshi wrestlers were like Amer were like English word first name, Japanese last name. <laughs> yeah, you know you're right. <laughs> Except for Dump Matsumoto, who just used the word dump. Well that's a English term. Oh well, that, yeah. That counts. I thought you said names. No no no. Well like I said English words as their first names. Oh, oh, right. Oh, God. Independence probably quite big. Here's another Takamichinoku. We have two Kenos that seem to be Wait. the same Keno. I thought that was going to be Raul from Hokuto. <laughs> <laughs> I w he, he named himself after Rao. I do know that. That, that makes sense. <laughs> Keno's a cool guy. He's like my favorite wrestler in Noah right now. <laughs> Mr. Shock. <laughs> yeah, Electro Shock. <laughs> Dr. Wagner Jr. Boo. This guy sucks. Ah, oh, does he? Sasha's controller keeps dying. Uh, well, it's not like he's a bad person or anything, but Pagano's just a terrible wrestler. Ah, I see. Is that to that time we watched Triple Mania and he was in this like awful death match? <laughs> Kimberly, Hazuki. Uh, I don't know who that is. That's uh, Misao. <laughs> yeah, sloppy death match dude who is somehow the top guy in Triple A. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's about right. Paul London wearing very tiny pants. <laughs> this isn't his rock outfit, this is when he's uh, casual. <laughs> Blue pants. Wait, why is, why is low key like. <laughs> Fan service, Paul London. <laughs> what were you saying, Melly? Why does Low Key look like Seth from King of Fighters here? Because <laughs> his his gimmick for a while has been Agent Forty Seven from Hitman, like in a full suit. <laughs> I've got him into that. A car salesman. <laughs> Keiji Muto, Giant Giant Baba's here. Uh. I don't remember who that no, is. That's Kobashi, I think. That's Kobashi. Another Akira Hokuto. Uh, Atsushi Onida, Curry Man. Probably like Spindle. Wait, he got uh, fired for wearing the suit? <laughs> Jeez. Fred Durst, yeah. Oh, yep, Fred Durst. Another Alex Shelley. Battle Liger. Oh, did it? Because that is a that is a very bad idea. <laughs> Especially in Japan. Yeah, just not telling anybody you're bringing fake guns is generally not a good idea. Dan Hansen. Another Command Bolshoi. 
<laughs> that looks all the exactly the same. Wait, Ryoko? From, uh, World of Heroes? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely that one. Leona. More like rubbish, Ronnie. <laughs> that is a curious looking Yuri there. <laughs> Polnareff. <laughs> K Dash. My Shiranui. I did not mean to. I did not call him Polnareff there as, like, as a joke. I accidentally just called him Polnareff. <laughs> I mean, it Benny works. Maru, but... that's his name. Yeah. Makaru, Makaru. Hamaru. Rimuru. Galford. <laughs> Geese Howard. <laughs> Normal Geese Howard. Angel. And Rugal. <laughs> yeah, now with parts craft, we might actually be able to get Poppy in here. Snake, Little Mac. I don't need. I, I shouldn't be going through like all of these. It'll take a million years. Yeah, but uh, anime. Oh, That's... I'm curious about who that skull was. Oh, it was skull duggery. That's even better. <laughs> oh, um, the uh, skullomania's dead. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the Zagok. <laughs> Quad Giants. Robin Mask. Buffalo Man. That's a really good Buffalo Man, jeez. <laughs> Crystal Boy. Rocket Crystal Junior. Bowie. The Mountain. <laughs> Every mountain that I see in this game is incredible. Biscuit Oliva. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even, like, an exaggeration as to how he looks, like... <laughs> uh, we got Gintoki, we got, um... Kagura. Yep. Saber. Sh uh, Shiro. Shiro. Archer. Armitage. Shibbity Crockett. Yeah. <laughs> and Master Asia. But not Domon. Also, Kodo. Um, <laughs> so, I made Kodo from Mugen as a standalone character, and uh, somebody on the PS4 uh, made Kodo for this. Oh, nice. Hibiki's got a title. Huh. Chris. Kamen Rider V3. Lord Zed. Oh. Kamen, Rider, Kamen Rider 3 has a title. Uh. The Hibiki and Kamen Rider uh, number three are champions together. <laughs> Ultra Seven, Tendo, Baron, Pink Ranger, Rogue, Giver, <laughs> Kuga. There's a lot, a lot going on here. Rider I'm pretty Man. sure at least three of those actors are in Shibuya Scramble somewhere. <laughs> Charlie Kelly. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. One of the <laughs> videos, uh... So wait, it's Hibiki Tachibana from Simpho Gear, Kamen Rider Sango, and Roddy Piper as the Maniac. <laughs> the Maniac loves you. <laughs> Charlie uh, also also a recent appearance in uh, Grunk Squad. <laughs> Mother of Ultra, I think. Oh, no, Easy He's... Pete's here. <laughs> With his clone is somewhere else. <laughs> UFC, Pepsi Man. Shogun. Pepsi Man. But Shogun is, uh, Toshiaki Kawada, so I'm curious why his finishers go to sleep. <laughs> Wait, is this the Shogun from that game? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I noticed a lot of the Fire Pro conversions kind of winged it when they got to the movesets, which is kind of weird considering they're still kind of real people. <laughs> Liu Kang. Yeah, wait, why is this Why is this a shoot fighting company? <laughs> I'm not sure. 
Also, uh, I don't think Liu Kang ever snapped anybody's neck, but... <laughs> Who's this, uh, sh That's Yoshimitsu. Oh, it is, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. Link Xiao Yu. <laughs> Xiao Yu's friend. <laughs> Reach it, Li Xiaolan. My brain is blanking, what's her name? June Help Kazama. June, Kazama. June, thank you. <laughs> Combat. Combat. <laughs> Sergey Dragonov. Kazumi. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Everyone get excited for these characters when we one day do like a, a um crossover show. <laughs> and Sosh Down. <laughs> one of the greatest. Yeah, uh, so wait, the... what's the lore for this? Is Sasha running? A company on the side, in addition to being one of like the general managers of our company, maybe, and also a referee. <laughs> <laughs> Boo Parper, Makito, yeah, Crowbar. Everybody's favorite SNK character, John Cena. <laughs> Not just John Cena, Hollywood John Cena. Uh, Hollywood and Judgment. <laughs> What? Look at John Cena's finisher. Hollywood and Judson Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody. Bloody. The is her name the Bloody? <laughs> Yoshitatsu. I like how it's world famous in quotation marks. <laughs> Castle, Chris Wolf, loves meat and butts. <laughs> Making her the most relatable uh, wrestler on this. Uh... <laughs> okay, I just spent a long time. I just spent way too long going through that wrestler list. It's now twelve oh eight. It's worth Oops. it though. <laughs> See what our compensation is. Alrighty, so um. Guess we'll pick this up in a couple weeks. Yep. Uh, is there anything we want to do? Oh, I'm gonna check our merchandise. Oh, gotta throw away the goods. Thank you, Rita. The goods were selling very well uh, this past week. We finally got the goods market down. <laughs> Upgrade all this stuff. Start making money <laughs> You think I'm doing this to make money, Sasha? I'm doing <laughs> this so I can watch Kotaro Suzuki fight matches. <laughs> Look, there are two there are two end goals for this. Whether we become like the top company in the world or we crash and burn and die. And My question is who's gonna be the wrestler that enters the ring with Suzuki and then just falls on their uh falls on their face and gives them the belt? <laughs> yeah, who's gonna Am I Vince Rousseau? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Look, bro. <laughs> Not nearly as bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine being Eric Bischoff. That is fair. <laughs> just, I get, just, to, uh, I get to be like weirdly public about my fetish for motorcycles. <laughs> Jeez. I do need to have, give someone the Amuro Ray gimmick. You're right. I mean, so you gotta find out who in TW has the ant gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Brother Yashi. <laughs> oh yeah, right. I think you're right. Yeah, Casey. Yes, but you gave we gave Casey the rapper gimmick, but I think we gave Brother Yashi the ant gimmick because <laughs> Melly saw ant and was like, "I have to do it." 
I'm curious what Meatwad is gonna do in that uh, Federation next time. <laughs> once he's once he's no longer in rehab. Yeah, once like a quarter of our Federation's no longer in rehab. <laughs> With Doctor Hibbert being like, "Oh, uh, there's definitely." <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, I guess that's about that. Yeah. Fire Promoter is always weird because it's a lot of just staring at menus and talking. Like, I yeah, mean, TW right. is all that. At least you get to watch matches in this one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, nothing wrong with us talking. No, you know? That's true. Yeah. We had a pretty sizable turnout today, which is nice. Yeah. I'm very glad we did. Getting Fukakaki Moto to uh, hold that sign for us worked. <laughs> I don't think we'll find... work again next week. We should find different pictures of wrestlers holding things and just Photoshop that sign into their hands. <laughs> Definitely. Alright, so I guess that does it for this week. Uh, what yeah. are you guys up to in the coming weeks? Or coming week? I was actually going to ask Sasha that. Uh, we could do a Thug Pro stream this week. We were kind of thinking about that again. Oh, oh wait, yeah. there was there was the the idea we had for Thursday. I yeah. almost forgot. Where um, I might want to play the new Soccer Wars game on stream. Yeah. Uh, yeah, either Thug Pro or uh, we'll figure something out. Because <laughs> I was like. We may have figured out how to play Mugen online, uh, but I'm going to investigate that more. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we will. So I will be back on Thursday with yep. everyone, and so I guess on that note, uh, have a good week, everybody. Thanks for coming by. Thank you, Sasha, for setting this up. No problem. And thank you, Melly, for being here and hosting it. No problem. Uh, this is something hope... we're about to leave. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everybody had a good time. And I'm looking forward to doing this again in a couple weeks. Yeah, definitely. Have a good night, everybody. Have a good night. See ya. Fair enough.